Hello, welcome back. Uh, let's talk today about uh, OCR, optical character recognition. And, you know, optical character recognition is the first and important step uh, when you implement a pipeline to uh, automate data extraction from the documents. So, uh, you know, uh, probably you would like to implement some logic that would help to uh, classify different fields on the documents, form the documents, or uh, build um, key value pair extraction, or uh, to find um, <clears throat> different fields like uh, VAT numbers, uh, totals, uh, subtotals, item prices, and so on. But to uh, effectively implement this kind of logic, you need to have a reliable uh, OCR system. Uh, because if in the first place uh, data from OCR would come uh, incomplete or with mistakes uh, incorrectly extracted, then uh, obviously uh, the second uh, other logic which would uh, uh, the classification or, or uh, labeling for this data would, uh, would be incorrect as well. So uh, it makes sense to invest time and uh, research different uh, solutions available for OCR. Uh, this is what I did. And uh, I looked into uh, uh, various open source solutions and also cloud solutions. And, uh, you know, uh, from cloud, probably uh, AWS Textract provides uh, one of the best results. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I'm not uh, so keen to use cloud solution because uh, if uh, you're building a pipeline which uh, you want your customers to use, maybe not all of these customers would like to use cloud. So it's always good to have alternative, um, uh, some uh, solution that runs on premise. And if customer uh, wants to use a cloud vendor, then he can uh, work with, with cloud uh, as well. So, so you, into your pipeline, you can plug in a uh, cloud solution. But uh, so so in terms of open source solutions, I, I went through a set of them uh, like uh, classical Tesseract, then uh, Paddle OCR, MM OCR, and uh, Mindy uh, uh, Doc Three, and uh, I uh, actually uh, made it a few tests, and I found out that uh, Mindy Doc uh, Doc uh, TR probably one of the uh, best uh, open source solutions available uh, today and the quality of data extraction is uh, nearly is, is very close to the quality of a, a, a AWS extract okay so let's uh, switch to my screen and uh, this is the uh, github page for mindy doc uh, tr document text uh, recognition solution and this is the one uh, that i'll be using in our uh, own uh, ML pipeline implementation to automate uh, data extraction and classification uh, from documents, which is called Sparrow. And you'll, you'll have a uh, URL uh, below the video to our solution as well. And uh, this is open source uh, solution uh, also available on the GitHub. Yeah, so uh, what I like about um, DocTR is that uh, uh, it's very simple. It's uh, simple to install. Uh, if you are a TensorFlow user or PyTorch user, they have um, uh, backends uh, available for both, for TensorFlow and for PyTorch. You have a choice which uh, you would like to install. And uh, another another important thing is that uh, they, the output from uh, DocTR is very clean and they um, uh, provide you separate words, so they don't merge uh, words together. They don't try to assume that uh, two or three words belong to the same sentence. All the words are reported separately. And this is good because um, you have your own freedom to decide and build logic on top of it and uh, see which words should be belong to one sentence or not. Because sometimes when your um, OCR solution is merging words into a single sentence automatically, uh, there are mistakes and it's uh, harder to solve those uh, issues instead of just uh, build logic by yourself to merge words when you need it. And another thing, um, uh, doc, doc TR uh, out of the box works with um, multiple uh, pages, so you could um, you can split document into multiple pages and feed all those pages uh, through a single call and you'll get back the output. Uh, it out of the box works with the images and with PDF files. So if you have a PDF file, you don't need to convert it yourself to image. You can pass it as uh, directly as PDF to uh, Doc TR and you'll get the output. 
And uh, as the output, you get JSON file, which is also very convenient because uh, you can plug it in into your own pipeline. And uh, you may use uh, either Python language uh, for the main pipeline implementation or any other language. And uh, because you get as a result a uh, JSON structure, then it's pluggable into any kind of language and uh, you could uh, work with this uh, with the structure from uh, from any any perspective from any pipeline. Yeah, so it's great and it's all uh, open source, uh, free to use and uh, it provides great results. Uh, so it's amazing. And I did a few tests uh, and uh, let's run a few tests and uh, see how it actually uh, behaves. So uh, I'm using a few sample files from uh, from the dataset, uh, from SRD dataset, which is available for free online. You can download it. Um, yeah, just I'll, I'll, I'll include the URL below the video as well to the source of this data set. So, so you could test it yourself. And one of the files is this one. You see it's a receipt uh, file. It's not, the picture is not clear. And uh, when I was testing it with Tesseract, uh, I was getting very poor results with this, with this uh, file. So let's run it. Let's, let's run and see uh, what results we get with um, DocTR. And I'm using TensorFlow backend. I installed DocTR with TensorFlow backend, uh, but uh, as I mentioned, you could install uh, with PyTorch as well if, if, if you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we got back the result and we see that all the fields were identified and um, mostly interested in um, numeric fields in prices. So uh, as, as a result of um, uh, DocTR, when you are doing, when you're using it in development, you can also uh, return back the image. So not only JSON file, you get back the image and uh, it comes uh, with this ni nice um, interface where you can uh, move mouse around or uh, around and uh, highlight the element and you get a pop-up um, uh, window where you get the confidence information for this uh, specific area and also get the text that was extracted. So you can uh, quickly check the quality of the, um, uh, of the results. So for example, here we get a 6443, which is correct. And uh, for this field, we get also 3686, uh, uh, which is correct. And for this one, we get uh, 23, uh, 4, 6, 7, 3, um, uh, hash 1, which is also correct. And even this number was not uh, so clear to, it's not so clearly visible. Okay, so it works well. And let's let's see another example, this one. And particularly this example looks simple, but uh, if you try to run it with default Tesseract, uh, then it will fail for all the fields where you see the shadow. Because Tesseract, um, and even you do the, the processing for the file, apply different uh, transformations uh, using OpenCV, still uh, it's not um, able 100% uh, to get all the information from uh, this kind of example because of the shadows. All right, so let's uh, change the file name to 1.4 and we run example uh, and let's see how uh, the data will be extracted okay trans and yeah uh, now I started uh, start uh, for, um, I kind of run it doctor for each example um, from scratch and normally, uh, when you would start the process, you would keep it running, and then this warm up, there would be no warm up uh, wait time. As soon as it started, the second, third um, uh, files would be extracted faster than just the initial startup time. And we see it with DocTR, we can get uh, all the fields labeled, and even those that are in the shadow. So, for example, uh, this one is correctly extracted, and total is correctly extracted as well. So that's about uh, received data and let's look into uh, another completely different example which is not uh, in received data um, uh, data set. This is invoice and uh, it's more complex document. Let's see how it will behave if, um, with this kind of document. Okay, we run it again from, from, from the start. So there is a warm up period and it, it takes time to load all the TensorFlow um, uh, libraries and so on, and once it's loaded, then it runs um, uh, character uh, uh, text uh, recognition and extraction process. 
Okay, so this is the result we get. And we can see that all the fields were also identified. And for example, we check here that it's 47,931 and three cents, which is correct, correct extraction. Uh, over here, there's the invoice date. Uh, it's 24.06.2019, which is also correct. This one is incorrect. It's 25.06 uh, and extraction was 23. And we, we, get, we get the confidence 53% uh, here. So this, is, this explains why uh, this field is incorrectly extracted, which is fine. Uh, another one is customer code, which is correct. And it's uh, CU1711001. Uh, which is correct extraction and there is some another one is a reference number which is also even it's a low confidence but uh, the value is almost correct without one slash okay and if you get total so we get 194 uh, which is correct as well and there's a Total excluding excluding what uh, VAT number uh, excluding VAT team. This uh, one uh, the value is one six seven two four one three eight, which is also correct. So we see uh, for for more complex documents it also runs very well and uh, even uh, the quality of the document is not great. It's and it's still able to extract um, numbers almost uh, uh, like almost hundred percent correctly. This one is. Uh, 37.931 and we see it fails here, it can see number 7 and for this one is correct, 51,000 for example, right? So yeah, there are numbers uh, which are not correctly extracted but that's because the, the this document is complex and the quality is very poor but still uh, it's doing very very well comparing to uh, other OCR solutions that I was testing. Uh, it, it, it extracts very well. And this is another example of the invoice. Let's see with this one. And let's run it. And let's see what results we get over here, uh, with this kind of invoice. And actually, DocTR uh, supports not only English language, it works also with French and German, I think. So um, you can uh, run um, documents in different languages. Okay, this is the uh, test with the invoice in German and for example you can see here uh, customer number is correct, then num number of invoice is correct and invoice date is correct, then the item price is correct, then total price is correct as well. And this is, I think, VAT is correct. And this is uh, like a grand, grand total is also correct. So you see, uh, it works very well. Okay, and one more maybe example with the receipt. Not this one, I want to check. Okay, this one. This is the quality of the document is uh, slightly lower than Comparing the with the initial receipt we were testing, so it's one zero two two. That's okay. That's this one, and let's run it. This would be the last test. Okay, it's almost there, probably. Okay, it's, and you see it's uh, also it works great, and um, three zero one is correct, thirty two eighty nine. Then this one thirty seven thirty seven. This uh, change one sixty two sixty three, and the price twenty nine eighty eight. So yeah, it runs very well. I think. So thanks for watching and. My point uh, with this video was to talk about and present uh, DocTR, uh, open source uh, OCR, which uh, runs um, on top of uh, deep learning and uh, you need uh, to install uh, together with DocTR, actually it installs automatically either TensorFlow or PyTorch. 
and it's using pre-trained models to uh, extract uh, uh, and uh, yeah, not only read the text but also uh, um, uh, return it in a meaningful way uh, numbers and text and currencies and uh, the quality of the data extraction is very good and if maybe it's not matching the quality of AWS uh, text track, but still uh, it writes great results. It's a solution that you can use not only for to play or um, for the experiments, but you can use it in production and you can use it to integrate it in, into your um, document um, automation pipelines. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.